Okay, so this is my Pixel 2013, and uh, I've had this more or less since release, so about five years, and it's now at end of support from Google, so there's going to be no more Chrome OS updates for this. I think 567 is the last one. Um, so if you're on the beta channel, you wouldn't get anything more than that. Or if you're on the stable channel, you get one more update, I think. Um, but beyond that, no more Chrome OS updates. Um, and I wasn't ready to say, well, that's it with this device. Obviously, I could keep it running on the version of Chrome OS that it was on, and that would be fine. Um, but it would only be fine for a while because things would start um, not liking old versions of Chrome. So... Um, I thought we can do better than that, so uh, that's the BIOS lock screw that I took out of the device. I just popped open the back, took the screw out, and then I've installed the custom ROM on here, which is pretty easy to do, and I've documented how to do it in my blog. And then I installed um, Ubuntu 18.04, um, which is what we've got running on the device right now, which seems to run really very well and uh, everything seems to work perfectly um, there's a few glitches of the scaling of the size of the mouse cursor but other than that it's um, pretty good so I'll switch to screen sharing and I'll show you how it works okay so um, this is the uh, desktop in uh, Ubuntu 18.04 running on my Chromebook Pixel um, after Installing it, there's a couple of things I had to do, and the first one was to set up some custom screen resolutions. So, if I go into devices, and you'll see that I've got this 1536 by 1020, that's a custom screen resolution that I manually set up. You see, you get loads, and the other one I set up, which is the default on the Pixel, is 1280 by 8. 50 because when you first install it it will default to 2560 by 1700 which is the native resolution and 200% scaling so it will give you 1280 by 850 which is fine and it looks great however it's actually running at that very high resolution and that stresses the GPU on this thing like nothing and it um, throttles up gets hot and uh, you don't want that so you need to set up some custom resolutions so that's what um, I've done and I looked up how to do this and it's not particularly difficult um, I'll put this link in the description of the video but this is the um, post that I used to do it and I'll also put in the uh, uh, settings that I used so I'll just edit the profile file so the bits that I edited or added are these bits here which specify the custom resolutions and you can put in as many of these as you want so uh, that's the sort of standard pixel resolution out the box um, and this is the one that I'm currently running at which is uh, 1536 by 1020 which seems to work well and fit the screen well and uh, performance seems um, very good in this resolution the other thing that I had to do was map the keys at the top because obviously they're sort of custom chrome keys and Ubuntu just picks them up as function keys so I've set the uh, volume keys to work and the brightness keys to work and mute and so on and to do that I just found somebody else had helpfully already posted how to do this and uh, so there's this uh, fascinating captaincom blog and it explains how to map the keys which amounts to editing one file and then they just magically work after you've uh, rebooted the computer so um, being sort of full-on Linux uh, we've got multiple browsers so we've got Firefox here that I can run which does what Firefox does uh, I install Chrome it doesn't come with Chrome uh, I checked how much space I actually had so we go to other locations this only comes with a 32 gig 
SSD this computer but I've still got 19 gig free after installing Linux um, I've got OBS running in the background I've got things like um, Google Earth Pro installed which works absolutely fine Um, what else have we got? We've got Caden Live. We want to do a bit of uh, video editing, which um, I'll do a little bit of light video editing on this. Caden Live is very good and uh, uh, does the job that a lot of more ex a lot of expensive packages will do for free, open source. We've got VLC, the sort of regular, normal version of VLC. Um, what you can do, of course, if I just uh, I don't know fire up settings, for example. And we're going to activities. We can use virtual desktops and switch between those virtual desktops. Or I can use the keys to switch between my different desktops, which is quite nice if you need a bit of extra room. And um, you've obviously got things like LibreOffice for full-on Office packages on there. So, while this particular device is no longer going to get Chrome OS updates, that's not a particular problem because you can put whatever operating system you want on, just bearing in mind you've only got a 32 gig hard drive. So you could put Windows on there, uh, but Windows would run out of space pretty quickly, especially given the size of the updates, where something like Ubuntu and other Linux distros will work fine. You could even put Cloud Ready on here if you wanted to essentially keep Chrome OS and keep on getting updates and I've done that on other Chrome OS devices. Uh, that's particularly relevant if you've only got a 16 gig SSD as many Chromebooks and Chrome boxes do and it keeps it sort of running fine. But other than having to do those two tweaks, one to the screen resolution and one to map the keys at the top um, it seems to run very smoothly um, without any problems whatsoever and um, I'm quite happy with it and I'm sure it will keep on running for uh, many years to come. Ubuntu 18.04 what is five years more support um, so there's no reason to uh, change this device yet. The touchscreen by the way works fine um, and I haven't found anything that doesn't work as it's intended to boot up time I would say is a second or two slower than Chrome OS was but given that you're doing a lot more than Chrome OS was doing that's to be expected but it, 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 it's hardly noticeable anyways that's uh, how you can uh, rejuvenate your Pixel 2013